Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video, we will show the Muslims that Muslims, they don't follow the Quran. You know, uh, all of us, we know that Muslims, they do pray five times a day. Uh, I think uh, this is not a secret, right? Uh, all of us, we knew that the Muslims, they practice this. Uh, the fact, the Quran never said to pray five times a day, and I changed the Muslim to find me one verse in the Quran saying five. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you the proof. I'm not, you know, as always, I never say things from my own. This is the Quran, chapter 11, verse number 114. Chapter 11, verse number 14. You can click a translation you want. It's up to you. No. Let us see Allah is ordering the Muslim to pray how many times. Here we go. Let us make it bigger. So it's going to be more clear. And establish... The one is talking who this is supposedly Allah which is not even exist you know this is uh, this is not uh, the God of Islam it's supposedly his name is Allah uh, he, <laughs> the only way he can be exist is if he's Satan and that for sure after examining uh, the teaching of Islam which teaching people to hate each other to kill each other to spread blood to rape to murder to, to steal etc and all of us we knew that Muslims they speak about that Islam is against adultery but they will not say to you Adultery in Islam is if you do have sex with a woman, she is not married to you huh? By having intercourse with her If you don't do it by the legal way of Allah uh, Which means they will not say to you that they as Muslims They are allowed to do muta, they rent a woman uh, uh, For five minutes to have sex with her and for them this is the correct marriage So what Islam says, uh, 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 you know, prostitution is marriage just you have to do it in the right way you know there is a right way to do it uh, same time uh, uh, sleeping with your daughter from adultery is okay in islam this is not adultery uh, as in chapter 25 verse number uh, uh, 52 and you can read it right uh, explanation or interpretation of al qurtubi uh, you know uh, uh, a theft in islam if you steal an egg in islam they cut your hand but this is if you steal the money of somebody he is not protected by allah which mean uh, a, per a person who live in USA is not protected by Allah. You know, you have no contract with Muslims, like people who pay, the, uh, let us say, uh, uh, if you are a Christian, live in the Middle East. You have to pay jizya, and because you pay them money, the Muslim, they will not, uh, uh, supposedly, they will not attack you. You know, you are safe from them. The funny, the Muslim, they say to you, you pay jizya to protect yourself, but they will not say that they, they, to protect yourself from who? To protect yourself from the Muslims. You pay them money they will leave you alone uh, you stop paying money then they will kill you they will kidnap your wife they will rape you etc uh, so Islam is against theft but theft is okay uh, if you are doing it from non-muslim uh, you can go and watch a, a video uh, of a person he have one eye you can see him in YouTube uh, his name Abu Hamza he live in England you know he said clearly this is the teaching of Islam if you see an infidel in the street a pagan Christian or Jews or whatever you know because for them they think they are really pagan uh, and the funny they are the one who kiss black stones and we are the pagan but anyway uh, he said if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street uh, you know cut him you know kidnap him take him to the market and set him uh, uh, the same as a cow you know if you have no use of him or kill him that's it very simple you kidnap the person and you are we're talking about a person now not about his uh, wallet wallet you take the whole person, uh, sell him, or use him as a slave, you know, slave him. Or if you don't want to do any, just kill him. Very simple. This is Islam. So Muslims, they say to you, we are against killing. They quote for you as Obama, he did chapter 9, verse 28, says, the Quran says, if you killed one mankind, one, one man, as if you killed all mankind, but he will not tell us that this filthy Obama, that this verse is speaking about, if you kill a Muslim, you can, all of you right now, go, and see the explanation of the verse in Ibn Kathir. It's very easy. Actually, I can show it to you. Even uh, that will, will will stop my topic, uh, which is going to be about this verse. But let me show you. Just to show you, we're not making things up. And just to show you how you can do it easy to find things, this is tafsir.com, k-tafsir, sorry. Uh, you click in here. You go to chapter 9. You choose verse number 28. You click next. This is the verse. Huh? Now, uh, usually when you start, they just re recite for you the verse in here. You click next. And here it says that we are Christians, we are dirty, and we are not allowed to enter the city of Mecca. 
this is the the tolerance of Islam they say to you Islam is a, is a tolerance Islam don't teach us discrimination imagine if we have a sign that says uh, this city uh, dogs and cats uh, sorry dogs and pigs and Christians and Jews are not allowed to enter imagine we have a sign like this in New York saying Muslims and, and pigs are not allowed to enter New York this is what the Quran is saying that we are not allowed to, to enter cities just because we are dirty you know they are this is a translation they are saying we are any pure any any pure the fact the word najis is a lot more than this najis is more than filthy so the Christians and the Jews are filthy people and here we go repeat it again all over huh? the mushrikeen are impure so kill them or kick them out so they will never be allowed to enter this place ever again uh, anyway so if we if we go on here it's uh, speaking about they have to kill them you have to humiliate them you, you have to make them pay the jizya and the Muslim they say to you uh, paying jizya is a, is a tax which is false people don't pay jizya don't pay tax uh, if they don't pay tax you know they will uh, like if you pay tax you pay it with respect you send a check huh, for a tax department and they say to you thank you and here you have to pay it and with humiliation you don't only pay it you have to pay it with subdued and you know be a, 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 a defeated humiliated uh, uh, for you are miserable for you are refusing Islam and uh, I'm not making things up you know I will show you you know here we go you know, just this is the Muslim word not, not even my word okay because they don't believe in Islam they have to fight you fight those who don't believe in Allah know the last day the Muslim they say to you we Muslims we are allowed only to fight those who fight us false it says it clearly fight those who don't believe in Allah doesn't matter who are they they fight you they don't fight you doesn't matter all of us we knew Muhammad he sent three letters to kings they never fought him the king of the, the king of the Roman the king of the Ethiopian the king of the Persian none of them ever have a war with Muhammad he is the one who started the war he said either you convert or I'm coming to after you okay anyway so uh, uh, you have to do jihad you know you have to do jihad against them to force them to uh, convert to Islam or they pay money right and uh, and the reason for that to, to, to be done look uh, jizya is a sign of kufr and disgrace uh, and they have to be they have to pay it because they refuse to embrace Islam it's a penalty for refusing you know to be a Muslim and they have to be paying it in defeat and service you know subservience you see it so how, how you have to pay it look this is not my words this is Ibn Kathir not my words remember and feel themselves subdued disgraced humiliated you know therefore Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhamma which means the Christian and the Jew or elevate them above Muslims for they are miserable disgraced humiliated you see even their Prophet he said if you see a Muslim a Christian or a Jew in the street you force him to walk in the sewage line here we go don't initiate the salam to the Jews and the Christians and the, if you meet any of them in the road force them in the narrowest alley imagine if we see a Muslim in the street we force him to jump in the sewage line Muslim they say Islam is a merciful religion Islam is a fair religion Islam is a, is a religion who teach justice but what we see that the justice of Islam, of Islam is nothing but a bull you know what I'm talking about right it's a disgusting just this is just if this is justice what unfair mean just because he is a Christian or a Jew he have to walk in the sewage line and this is you know the, this is why I say when a Muslim says to you I'm your friend don't ever trust him he's lying to you they are not allowed to take you as a friend go and read the chapter 5 verse number 51 and read the explanation and remember in here those people are not fighting Muslims they are living between them they are not in war so what the reason for this is just because they are Christians they have to be subdued they have to be in their humiliation you see it and the Muslims read with me in here please you know it's a, 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 the leader Omar Khattab may Allah bless him demand his well-known condition be met by the Christians this condition that ensured their continued humiliation do you see it this grace so this is have to be if a Muslim now have control of your country this is what they will do to you so when somebody who go on TV says Islam is a nice religion some bad Muslims they hijack Islam you know the fact that this is a lie this is politically correct and those people they are fooling you those actually they are more dangerous than the Muslims themselves those who lie to you like Obama and George Bush who say to you Islam is a peaceful religion they are a bunch of filthy animals 
they are spreading lies about Islam Islam the real face is as you see in front of you in the same time I made this video to show you that Muslims even they do not even understand the religion and they worship their prophet not their God their God he never said in the Quran go and pray five times Muhammad said five times which one they follow they follow Muhammad because Muhammad is the real God and here we go let me show you and establish regular prayer at the two end of the day count with me please at the two end of the day how many prayer that will make two prayer which mean the start of the day because the Muhammad he believed that the morning is a is an end of another other day and the, the the night is an end of other day so uh, uh, that is the two end of the day this is two prayer and at the approach of the night what is the total three so why Muhammad is telling Muslims to pray five if a Muslim he try to to play games and he will say no no, no I can find you in the Quran five okay you know what if you find me in the Quran 5 which you will not find no problem this is mean Islam is a joke one verse Allah he says a three one verse he says five like what he cannot be stable to, to tell us what he want exactly why well, he keep changing his mind the same prophet the same time the same the, the same deen the same religion the same book the same prophet once he say five when he say uh, you know so why Muhammad he goes against his God the Muslim they say to you as an example and this is why I say Muslims they go by Muhammad not by their God Allah chapter 4 verse number 24 which allowed you muta the Prophet he allowed the Muslim men to go and have sexual relationship out of marriage in many ways number one they can have sex with the prisoners they take them from war even if their their husband is a friend or even family imagine read the story with me this is the book of Asbab al Nuzul chapter 4 verse number 24 you can freeze the video and take your time to read it I will make it for you clear here we go you can read it and see what the story so those people they came to Muhammad telling him you know we have captive slaves who they are married they are married should we marry, you know sleep with them he said yes marry you know sleep with married women you can sleep with married women just because they are your captive captives and even those are friends they have relationship with them read with me here we go we had captured female prisoners of war on the day of uh, 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 Autas and because they are already married we dislike having any physical relationship with them they asked the Prophet Allah bless him and give him peace about it the verse uh, and all married women are forbidden huh? except those who they are the slaves who they are really right hand process so you can have sex with them so you can have you can you can consider a lawful this is lawful physical relationship with them and then after that in the same verse he allowed them to do muta you can have muta and you can pay women you know you can go to different explanation no, this is Asbab al Nazul actually is not really explanation. Uh, uh, the, the book name means the reason for the verse to come down. Uh, you can go to different uh, 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 book, which is an explanation or interpretation. You will see in here that this is about muta. So you go you, to a woman, you give her money, you should seek with your money, read with me, you should seek with your money, women for an agreed time of marriage, of muta. Muta means pleasure, sexual pleasure. But later this was abrogated okay how it was abrogated you see it this is later abrogated so Allah allowed it who is the one who abrogated the answer is Muhammad there is nowhere in the Quran in the whole in the whole Quran where it says that Allah he abrogated this ever nowhere in the Quran you will find that Allah saying I did abrogate this I changed my mind and by the way if it's filthy why he why he allowed it first of all why he abrogated secondly and the one who abrogated is Muhammad so Muslims always they follow what Muhammad said Allah he allowed muta you can go to any woman and this is why the Shia by the way they refuse what the Sunnah do the Sunni they do follow Muhammad or hadith the Shia they say this hadith is not valid because who is more strong the word of Allah or the word of Muhammad if Allah he say this is is okay it means it's okay so the Shia until now they practice muta the Sunni by the way they practice muta but they have it they, they give it different name so Muslims they follow Muhammad they don't follow Allah their God is Muhammad and the prayer is a three time not five Abdul wake up you are not doing what Allah said Christ is Lord Islam is false we see you with coming videos